Everybody good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sergeant Mercedes Fortune, uh, Public Affairs Sergeant with the Phoenix Police Department. Tonight, just about 7.30 this evening, officers responded to a residence in the area of 24th Street and Vineyard, which is just south of uh, Southern. Reference an unknown trouble call. Those type of calls typically result in something that we don't know at that moment. We're trying to gather information about what that person's calling the police about. So when officers arrived, they were met by three adults at the residence. Once they went inside, they realized that there were three young children that were unresponsive. Officers did do CPR on the infants and unfortunately they were unsuccessful. Fire personnel also arrived. And once they also gave them first aid, they pronounced the three young children deceased at the residence. At this moment, we do have the, the mom, the dad, and another relative in police, uh, with police officers. They are in the process of being interviewed. It is too early to determine what the cause of death of the children are. I could tell you that there is no obvious trauma to the children. Uh, once this investigation is completed, uh, as, you could, as you know, uh, the medical examiner will actually have to do the death, uh, the examination of the three bodies. Until then, we won't know what the cause of death is. Absolutely. So we have a three-year-old male child, a two-year-old female child, and a seven-month-old female child. Where in the house were they found? They were found in the front of the house, inside the, inside the residence. I can't tell you if there was an exact room, but as soon as the officer entered, they were, the children were there. Are you able to share what the family has told officers occurred tonight? There's nothing been shared with us right now. We could tell you that they were uh, saying that the children were either ill uh, earlier and that uh, that's that's the extent of what they've shared with us so far Who called police? It was a relative That lives inside the house? Yes I can tell you guys that this is probably one of the most difficult calls that our officers and fire personnel respond to It's the most difficult part to see children who are the most innocent that have obviously lost their lives so it's very difficult and uh, we're trying to determine why this occurred. And those are the questions that we're gonna hopefully get answers to when investigators speak to the family. You said the children were sick earlier in the night? That's what we were told. Is there any they they were No. Again, those are, those are the questions that we're gonna be asking her uh, as this investigation continues. Mercedes, why are we I don't know how that call came in as a drowning call. I could tell you that for us, for police, it came in as an unknown trouble call. Are you treating this as a homicide? Right now, it's too early to tell. It's way too early in the investigation. Once again, we're gonna, we have to go through the interview process. Our investigators need to speak to the, to the, to the people involved and to everyone that was inside that residence. And we're gonna have to wait for the medical examiner as well. Sergeant, can you clarify, is this, we've also heard from neighbors that this might be a business as well, there's a double as a home and a business, I mean, what, what is on this property? I can tell you that it does look like that, it looks like it's landscaping uh, of some sort, there's uh, other vehicles in that property. Um, Would you call this, the conditions here, suspicious? You know, anytime you have three children, right, that have, uh, that are deceased, you know, you, you have to understand, we have to work our way through what that process means and why that happened. And so in that aspect, it's suspicious. Again, I just cannot tell you how, uh, but we're going to work through that and hopefully get some answers to that. There's some, there's uh, some trucks, commercial trucks. To your point, there's like uh, either landscaping uh, equipment back there. Did they indeed live in, did you, did you describe it was a trailer, was it a home? Did you describe where the children were found? They were, inside, they were inside a residence. Was it a brick and mortar structure or was it one of the trailers on the property? You know what, I have not looked at it completely to tell you where or how that, that residence is built. I could tell you it's definitely a residence, it's not a business. And did you say the children were inside or outside of the home? They were inside the residence when officers arrived. Were they in like the living room or what area of the home were they? In the I knew that as soon as officers arrived they were able to go directly to the children. I don't know that. I don't know that. Sergeant, did any of the family members report that they gave the children anything? 
due to them being sick or otherwise? You know what, as that's one of the questions that is going to be asked. I don't know that answer yet. You could expect updates later on. I will provide them through an email process. Um, for now, that's the only information I have. Any idea how long you guys are going to be out here? We're going to be out here for a few hours. Yeah. And to reiterate, uh, family members are being questioned by police at this point. They're not being considered persons of interest? Absolutely, right? We're very early on. We're an hour or so into the investigation, and that's still trying to determine, you know, controlling the scene, obviously making sure that we have everything that we need in place, uh, making sure that ev evidence is being protected. And so the interviews is part of that process, so it's still too early. Have you, have you spoken to your first responder, your first officers on scene? How are they doing? Again, that's one of the most difficult things that officers have to go through. Um, our employee assistance unit is here today. They are speaking to officers and they're here for, to support them as well. And so uh, it's one of those difficult calls. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.